I'm not taking the piss. <laughs> Much. That's seriously. Oh, welcome back to the Lost in Space Rockumentary Part 2. Yes, yeah, so you're a gimp. In a rubber mask. <laughs> and this is David L. Falian on his way to Mackerton. Yeah, doing kind language. <laughs> Lost in Space. <laughs> I can't do it now. No, seriously though. Lost in Space got together in 2013. And Lost in Space consists of the G-Man. Because that's who we knew first. G-Man. Lee Van Cliff, <laughs> Cliff, our, our mate Cliff, he's great, he's a drummer, and he's in our band! <coughs> and we thought of so many bands to get him, no we didn't, we just nicked him off a band that were really not going to go any further anyway, so we didn't really nick him. Now we can't use none of this! <laughs> what? Nicking him? No, we did. We nicked him off the lovebirds. Let's not beat about the bush. He's a proud ex-lovebird drummer. And they had a big following up the palace. And all over the world. Bless him. So, anyway. Cut! <laughs> Cliff, he likes to play records. He's a DJ. And he's spent thousands, but we can't work on records, on, you know, vinyl, he loves it, Dark Acid, Where's Your Child At, and anything unnerving, he'll play it. So that was brilliant, that was a great and night. It, oh, I missed that. I loved it. And Dead comes dressed as Bowie, you know, <laughs> 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 And they love him at kicks. <laughs> You're off to Mackerton then. I am. Borrow probably. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. oh. You can take up Mr. Tumble's job. No, I mean basically Cliff is responsible for Lost in Space being better than it ever was. And because Cliff brought us and introduced us to Mick. Mickey English, who I'd like to Um. Anyway, I've more money tuning guitars and playing them over the years, probably. Been a bit of a roadie and a technician, you know what I mean? And um, it wasn't until my mate Cliff came round, he's a drummer, he said, I've met this mad woman round the corner. He has completed the band. Now there's four of us, bass, drums, guitar, vocals, we're all old cunts and we're all enjoying it. Well, don't be insulting like. Uh, he's, he was really enthused, he bought round a, a CD and uh, I liked some of the songs so I went round and we had a laugh and I've been doing it ever since. She make, Why do I do it? Because it makes me laugh. So let's talk about Mick, our bass player, Mickey English. Mick is a star. His bass playing is wicked. His attitude is playing a bunk band. Hilarious. And he manages to like produce stuff that we're doing these days like mix really good at production he says no 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 I think we need to do something there or no no that's boring that's just repetitive and we're, me and Mick are always like you know I'm going what or it's cut that there and I'm saying but you can't cut that there that's the words no but the words have to go sometimes I mean look at Pattern of Chaos I suppose it was all our own faults we just didn't do the third verse but you know I mean maybe it makes for a better song but I do miss me words and he knows that but we don't compromise too much I think we've only compromised in that one song anyway Mickey English let's talk about his past 
he was in a band that was fucking brilliant that me and David absolutely loved. Max Splodge, Splodginess Abounds, were just hilariously funny, brilliantly entertaining. And um, so we were made up when we got Mick in our band because we got a star. Unfortunate thing about Splodge, of course, was uh, a hit record with a song by Roald Farris introduced on Top of the Pops by Jimmy Savile. Mick always gets drunk after gigs and stands there for about an hour going, it's you, it's you. <laughs> and I go, no Mick, it's all of us. It's all of us together. Anyway, we love Mick and hopefully I'm sure he loves us. We know he loves us. Anyway, otherwise we wouldn't be doing it. We love it. We're doing it. We're lost in space. We're here. Right fucking now, it could be punk rock, but it's also skull rock, the birth of skull rock. <laughs> you know, we give birth to this style of music. What is skull rock? It's straight talking for the head, because you know, you keep your skull in your head, or the other way around, you, know, you keep your brain in your skull, hopefully, if you got one. Skull rock. The unorthodox sound, the pattern within chaos. Lost in space. Already this year we've um, done a couple of really good gigs. The first one was in Dartford at the, um, the Huffler's Arms. And that was brilliant because like there was, my mates were there from school because I used to go to school in Dartford and uh, Dartford West Girls and basically quite a few of my friends turned up from school and it was a real laugh I said all the way here, all the way here I was fans of them guess what guys, we are the Nazis Mick just went yeah well we know that already <laughs> we are the right Oh, this one's for Ken! <laughs> she will be ice from this late street Surrounding partners can hear her whisper of frustration explosion Who round wave for carrying her on? Get it round, snap the jump, these guilt trips and prostitution One more night and she would have won few relatives there as well. Nice to see uh, Derek was there and it was a great gig and so we're going to go back there and do another gig in Dartford at some point soon and we got paid. Yeah that was our uh, January gig in Dartford and then we done a gig a couple of weeks ago. What are we in now? No it was in February. We've done a gig in February at the um, Stain Street Syndicate. <laughs> I'd love to introduce these cats. Is that on? Uh, I haven't even asked them if I could do that. But I'm sure. I'm sure they won't give a fuck. None of us do. So listen. Get up, up 
the seats. Come on down the front and get lost in space. Yeah. Here we go. little gig because they had nice equipment they had a rider so we could get a drink they were really nice people um, there was quite a few bands playing and we were the first band on and uh, there was this bloke there called Roscoe hello Roscoe if you're listening anyway basically he is the music industry and like London Unsigned, love him. And if he likes your band, you're in there. Now he seemed to love our band, but you, you never know, do you? you never know. Anyway, that could be in the future. What is in the future is the windmill. We've got a gig at the windmill on the 1st of April. And it better not be an April Fool's. I'm really looking forward to it. The windmill is a really good venue in a really good venue in Brixton and um, I think we're playing with a band called Sleeves um, who are meant to be great so that's April the 1st April the 1st of April <laughs> um, 2016 come on man come to the windmill in Brixton for the best lost in space gig ever because I said that one in Clapham could be the best half hour of our lives and I really enjoyed it. I think it was then. But we're looking for to make more good times. Come. Come. Skull Rock. Skull Rock. Skull Rock. Skull Rock. So, we got a 16 song CD album. Um, and it's also available, all 16 songs are available on YouTube as videos. And the album's called We Are, and we recorded it at Scream Studios in Croydon. We've got t-shirts, amazing t-shirts, and they're available from us at gigs. Just come and have a word. Lost in Space are me, Debbie Space, my husband, David L. Falian, on guitar, and I'm on vocals, obviously, Mickey English, on bass, and Lee Van Cliff, on the drums. That's okay. us, we are Lost in Space, we are Name of Our First Album. We are See you on the 1st of April 2016. We are lost in space at the windmill, Brixton. I don't know what the address is, it's up Brixton Hill or something. I don't know. Come true.